Good evening, everyone. Once again, welcome to this session. This is Rashmi from Great HR and today's moderator of the session. I would like to once again welcome all of you to our fifth thought leadership webinar, Great HR Meets. And as you all know, the topic for today is how organizations can augment a hybrid work culture with technology. Like as you all know, Worldwide, businesses are aiming to develop a hybrid workforce that is robust, sustainable, and innovative, and that enables workers to perform well from any place. Right? Today's workplace can be successful for both individuals and teams of in-person and remote workers, and thanks to technology's provision of team collaboration capabilities. Comprehensive hybrid work programs enable a customized work-life balance while enhancing employee experience, increasing agility and performance. The future of work will undoubtedly involve a hybrid workforce and the hybrid office is a novel and exciting idea that encourages adaptability, flexibility, innovation and productivity. But in this ever evolving world, what do organizations need to do in order to just keep up, but also grow, right? And also how can technology build a workforce that is effective and efficient in a hybrid scenario? So in the next one hour, we are going to talk about all of this with our esteemed speaker, Mr. Man Fatani, and understand how technology can help in creating an effective hybrid work culture. But before that, let me tell you a bit more about uh, the how the session goes. So as usual, the session is currently being recorded. So if you happen to miss out on any part of our today's session, do not worry, sit back and relax, because once the session is done, we will definitely share the recording with all of you. And also um, how the session goes is well, for first few minutes, um, Ms. Zoya will be speaking to us, all of us, uh, in fact, about the partnership and association with Great HR, uh, which will then be followed by the discussion with our speaker, Mr. Man Fatani. Then finally, we will take up the audience Q&A. So I can say audience Q&A is where time is all your attendees. So you can put across your questions related to the topic. Uh, in the Q&A option of Zoom control panel, and we would be happy to take it up in the Q&A round. All right. So uh, before I dive into the topic, let me tell you a little more about uh, our speaker today. Uh, Mr. Man Fatani is an accomplished HR leader with extensive experience in leading and transformation from the top of the corporate leader to the execution level on the front line. He has hands-on experience with business performance, strategic planning, organization development, talent acquisition, compensation and benefits, employee relations, and a full range of HR responsibilities. He has proven experience of 20 plus years in various different industries with different size of companies, including healthcare, FMCG, building materials, oil and gas, paper board production, and waste management. He has worked with different multinational companies. He is currently the group chief human resources officer for MEPCO, that is Middle East Paper Company, the industry leader of producing paper board in the Middle East. He is also the board member of HIPIT, that is Higher Institute for Paper and Industrial Technologies. In fact, he is known as a change agent who enjoys leading initiatives and challenging the status quo. So, Mr. Manfatani, we are delighted to have you here in the session. Once again, welcome. Thank you. Uh, pleasure is mine and uh, wishing to have a fruitful discussion around. I'll do my best. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Manfatani. Yeah. Also, dear attendees, let me tell you um, a little more about uh, our very own Ms. Zoya Ahmadi. So, Ms. Zoya Ahmadi is uh, currently a marketing and HR manager of Webcom. 
She has a competent eight years of experience in marketing and HR field. She has developed, implemented, and executed strategic marketing plans for an entire organization in order to attract potential customers and retain the existing ones. She has designed training programs for employees to ensure that new employees receive onboarding training to prepare them for their role. Execution driven with demonstrated experience, upgrading day-to-day -day tasks across all organizational divisions with a pragmatic approach to solving problems and determination to see things through to a positive conclusion. So this is about Ms. Zoya. So Ms. Zoya, we are happy to have you here in this session. Thank you, thank Once you, Rishmi. Thank you so much. Yeah. So uh, with this, uh, Ms. Zoya, I would like to hand over the session to you, please. Okay, so let me just share my screen. Sure. Rashmi, hope my screen is visible. Yes, Ms. Sonia. Please continue. Okay. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as uh, Rashmi already introduced me, so let me start uh, with the Fabcom company profile. Okay. So, Vapcom is a UAE headquartered business having 10 years of experience. We are delivering affordable and high quality services to our customers. We are specialized in ERP implementation, training, support, customization, data migration, data integration, and import. We are a leading provider of software uh, solutions, services, and customization to the industries across UAE. So we are uh, recognized as the best service partner in providing business automation across UAE. Uh, having more than 10 years of experience, uh, 5,000 plus customers, and we have handled more than 22,000 support calls. So talking about our team, so we have highly skilled industry professionals who are specialized you know, in providing the solutions which will suit every business requirement having depth knowledge, uh, technical knowledge to, ex, uh, to satisfy the clients. We have a complete in-house uh, programmers and developers team, and also a dedicated support center based in UAE for easy and timely support for our customers. So talking our, uh, about our clients, we have more than 5,000 clients and the result of for maintaining a good re relationship with our clients Most of our businesses comes to our existing customers. So these are uh, some of our clients. clients. So uh, to name like uh, so, uh, some clients across industries, we have retail, manufacturing, advertising, and many service-based industries. So we have formed a partnership with uh, the other specialist providers. So we are a leading part of Tally Partner Network and, and as an independent vendor. So we have a partnership with Greatip Software for their Great HR, uh, which is a leading HR and payroll software. So talking about Great HR, which is an essential uh, HR business tool to survive and thrive, uh, Greatip is an award-winning Uh, so yeah, sorry to interrupt you. Looks like there's some uh, uh, network issue. It is getting stuck. Okay. Now, like, are you able? Yes. Now is it fine? Yes, it's yeah. fine. So, Please continue. Uh, so what I was telling is, uh, Greatup is an award-winning and ISO certified company. Okay. Uh, it is a platform that automates HR and processes and empowers, em processes and, and empowers employee self-service. We are serving like Great HR is serving more than fifteen thousand clients across India and MENA region. 
thank you so much this was about webcom and the partnership with great hr so i think rashmi you can continue yeah thank you so much for the wonderful presentation ms zoya uh, so i think uh, now we will be moving towards our today's discussion that is on our uh, topic that is how organizations can augment a hybrid work culture with technology so uh, mr man patani my first question is to you uh, the question is uh, the landscape of the workplace has transformed over the recent years so how will you define employee engagement in this new world of hybrid workplace okay first again thank you for having me here it's very interesting to join this discussion and uh, it's interesting also to join on this uh, critical topic out the uh, guest we're speaking about the future we're speaking about a new reality that uh, change over the last three years, nothing has left since the pandemic came, COVID-19. So a lot of changes has been done into a workplace. There are some positive, negative, but there are uh, real good things that we can capitalize and build on. Part of this, if we're thinking about hybrid uh, environment, hybrid uh, workplace, which has a lot of uh, advantages that uh, push to agile organization, agile process, agile uh, teams. So in terms of a new reality that uh, I think uh, this trend is going to increase in the next coming uh, years, in terms of uh, which is a landscape, it's a very crucial to think of employee engagement with the culture wherever your people are located you know the beauty of a hybrid uh, workplace we're talking about uh, a blended a mix of people on site working on the workplace people remotely working from home everywhere which is giving more uh, flexibility to the employee and the employer who also can generate more creativity, more uh, free state of mind for people to get the best out of them. But in order to have an effective uh, part, there is a key element to consider, which is culture. We always say culture is the king, culture is everything. So a key element part to have uh, a successful hybrid uh, workplace or environment is you have the right culture with the right technology as a basement or fundamentals so you can build on both to gain further and make the best out of it you know so focusing on this to have for any successful business we need to continue effectively support and see what the right size for us as an organization. Each organization has its own model, its own procedure, uh, uh, own uh, combo out of this uh, mix of uh, hybrid. But uh, again, is something that going uh, onward. You know, there is no way back in having a hybrid uh, workplace or environment. Sure, Mr. Patani. So, like you rightly said, it's all about being agile. Uh, especially these recent years, I think uh, the workplace demands that now, and all of us have to adopt for this. So, thank you for bringing this up, Mr. Patani. Uh, so, I'll move on to my next question. Um, uh, could you please uh, tell us, in your opinion, what is the importance of employee engagement in this hybrid scenario? Okay, uh, employee engagement is uh, either in this hybrid scenario or in any scenario is something very important, you know. It's a power of full engagement, the more productivity, more buy-in, more uh, collaborations, more on things. So if we speak about the concept of employee enga engagement in a very simple things, it's emotional commitment from 
people from the team from the employee of the company toward the company objective toward the company a vision and achievements and things so that's what's the difference between this uh, disengaged and engaged in our model are we talking about hybrid uh, environment is very important to ensure that you have the right culture that the right culture will lead you to have an effective uh, hybrid so once you engage employees with the right mindset equip them with the right maturity uh, grow their level of maturity to the max you know have the right tracking tools that is something very important to capitalize on because culture is the one that will lead you for uh, achieving success in this area you know uh, so having uh, a culture that uh, embraces the change having a culture that uh, encourages more visibility a workplace that uh, equipped with the high technology and people acceptance for a change and technology and think different with the great steve jobs advice you know think different so that's i think something very important to capitalize and build on you know engagement and culture is something very important to work under any modules in a hybrid also or people working remotely and using the advance of technology in that it's more and more critical and crucial to capitalize on the culture factor to achieve better on that area sure sure mr uh, fatani so i think uh, you brought a few wonderful points now uh, so now i'll just i would like to just take this uh, discussion towards the technology right uh, so so as we all know that technology has played uh, one of the biggest roles in transforming the way we fun uh, function especially since the pandemic right so according to you why is it important to reimagine this technology in this hybrid scenario again we need to reimagine uh, technology is beyond that uh, the thinking of uh, everyone has a laptop so he can work from everywhere we need to have more uh, innovative uh, collaboration tools use of the tools uh, in that way we also uh, having uh, people accepting of this uh, uh, platform uh, communications we need to capitalize on as i said in the previous part on the cultural part but again you know you need to have the right people the right uh, leaders who embrace the change and Uh, encourage the change and getting captain on boards having the right culture with the right technology so without having the right technology i think we are missing an element in there so we need to have something uh, simplified make the people life easy uh, super friendly you know that make people usage and uh, flexibility of using uh, this system encourage people also to get in deep and fall in love with the system so we can make uh, ensure full engagement this is why technology will play a major role with the culture you know each one of them will complement uh, will push and drive each other all right so having this uh, combo as we said between both and make the right synergy that is something very important okay and we cannot distinguish or differentiate between both because you have to take it as as a package or combo as i said between both so you can achieve better results so technology here will play a major fact it's like if you could imagine life business life before uh, emails before uh, whatsapp before other communication platform okay so there are many things in technology is that it's a must you know we consider to achieve this so more more push for digitalized workplace a robust digitalized workplace also provide the tool necessarily for the right setup 
where we could achieve more in this uh, on-site, working remotely, working everywhere. It's not a barrier, you know. What we once we have the right mindset, the right uh, paradigm shift on the teams, with the right culture, with users of the technology, I think we will achieve more into building high performance organization, regardless of a people working in different places. You know. Absolutely, absolutely, Mr. Patani. I completely agree with you. Uh, in fact, uh, a few minutes back, you were also, uh, you shared all your valuable insights about the culture as well, right? Uh, so now uh, my take is this way, like the question is, how can organizations combine this technology and culture to better drive the hybrid workplace? I think we have a major uh, challenge here is what we call the, the challenge of uh, five C's, you know, uh, the communication, the coordinations, connection, creativity, and culture, as we said, we spoke about culture. So in developing a strategy for that, I think it's very important to ensure that we are moving to agile business models, all right? We are moving to more dynamic business models. So in order to do that, communication is uh, very important here to assess and see what is missing, you know, how we can uh, improve communications, how we can faster, faster communication, and what the technological tool that will provide us uh, further, you know. Also, it's very important to, to have the challenge of uh, ensuring connection, in ensuring uh, security of the company data, of the change of things. Also part of it, why should I work from office while you should work from uh, an, uh, a workplace or in home or at a coffee shop or etc. is to have the mix, yani, you know, now there is uh, in the offices, in the workplace, there is a different generations, you know, what is suitable for generation X, you know, it could be a classical, it could be generation Z. The millennials also has a different where they are more flexible uh, to work from everywhere, working from home, etc. So you will see what is suitable with each generation or, or with type of people. This is why it should be optional, you know. So what is the end result should be, how can we get the best out of people, how we can generate more ideas, more of million dollars idea, how can we generate or have the place that having the right incubation for creativity and innovation, you know? So once we have the right collaboration between the team with effective communications, with the great connection in terms of technology or whatever, with the right uh, creativity space, I think that's something very important will help us meet the challenge and build an effective hybrid, hybrid uh, place, space. All right. Uh, so yeah, for Tani, uh, since you have already brought up uh, uh, one of the major challenges, I think uh, I'll have to ask this question now. Uh, so the question now uh, from my end to you is, According to you, in your opinion, what are the challenges faced by organizations in creating an effective hybrid workplace? I think uh, the cultural part is still uh, there. There is a resistance sometimes for a change. As uh, I said, the people are different. We have a different generation sometimes in the workplace. Okay, so you have a different uh, mindset different uh, acceptance, different uh, state of mind. So the challenge is to work on building the right culture. That's something very important. Improving communication. Communication is a major uh, company or organizational issue in most of the companies. So imagine with a hybrid uh, space where you have a people in different and also agreeing on who work on office, who work uh, 
from home who has more flexibility. It's a complex uh, issue sometimes. So I think building the right uh, culture with the right collaboration, effective communications, that uh, a key challenge and uh, struggling to manage, to be honest with you. So once you have the right uh, five C's uh, checklist where you can assist where we stand uh, in each area. But it's very important to think forward, you know. And the pandemic has taught us a lesson that uh, showed us this modules, it can be done, you know, and it's very effective, you know. We've been forced to do that. So why not to capitalize on what uh, the gain, the positive gain out of the pandemic and work on that uh, challenge. So people accept it, people with maturity, uh, engaging leadership is one of the key challenges to believe and lead by examples, all right? And introduce it, uh, work on the challenge of how we can customize uh, policy and procedures. We don't want to just sub because none of the policy says is not this and we cannot uh, work on that. Building a right talent management portfolio and right talent management for inside the organization. Uh, that's something very important also. Em employee experience also is very important here to capitalize on and build that so we can ensure a workforce agile to be in place with the dynamic, with the first respond and etc. So all of these challenges of uh, cultural and organization development, I think uh, worth it. And I think many companies are progressing. You know, as we said, it's, it will become a, no, a new norm, you know. So need to be prepared, need to be prepared with the changes and get the best out of it. Enjoy the experience of building this. So instead of turning uh, in our SWOT analysis, turning, capitalize on our strength for building these modules and turning the weakness part or area need to be developed into a strength, you know? So gaining more into opportunity, working with the threat that might have in this. So I think with this we will be more productive, more uh, result oriented with this uh, blended uh, model. Sure, Mr. Fatani. I think uh, brilliant. You have brought up uh, a few excellent uh, points here. Uh, in, it might so happen that uh, sometimes they say, right, so hard times stimulate growth in a way that good times don't. So I think uh, this was one of the learning for all of us through this pandemic. So thank you for bringing it up here. Uh, so with this, uh, Mr. Fatani, I would now uh, like to know uh, from you about the strategies of HR leaders. Uh, so my question is, according to you, what are the strategies HR leaders can adopt to create a sustainable hybrid workplace? I think very important to work on uh, defining uh, the right strategy for this. I mean, think of it of different dimension, dimensions, uh, building uh, strategic goals to be achieved in people development to get captain on board, as you say. The leadership team engagement is very important. So we need to have uh, this influence to be achieved as part of the approach. Building the right uh, system or the right uh, basement for uh, technological part. So that's something very important to consider as part of the strategy in approach. Bringing the level of our employee and staff to uh, uh, a high maturity level to ensure full engagement. So we want uh, people in the hybrid modules to be productive and result oriented, regardless of where are they located either working from home, either uh, working for this. Set up in offices also to be considered in a strategy. That's something very important. Imagine an office, uh, actually I visited one of the company 
and their offices, there is no offices. I felt like uh, I'm visiting a coffee shop, you know, because people, they are remotely working three days uh, in the office and two days in home or in different places. So all what they need uh, in the office, they have a big tables. I thought like I'm in uh, a coffee shop or uh, gathering. So I think also building an office space that um, should that support this kind of mentality or cultural race in that way is very important. Don't forget the part as of our approach or strategy is to ensure a performance management uh, with measurement, with the right measurement tool is very important. Tracking tool is very important. We are building, as we said, the mature people, we are, uh, they're working them. At the end, they will have a result, but also ensuring part of assessing technology is uh, data security, uh, make sure uh, connecting with the peoples, and it's very, very important to think of uh, how we can build or how we can have uh, or invest in the right way to make it work, how we can build inside the company a social acceptance between uh, the people inside this, this is suitable for me to work on my option. At the end of the day, we want to conduct meeting we want to ensure our flow of communication is going to move. Everyone knows the task when to deliver. It's like uh, the office space or a physical workplace, you know. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Fatani. Uh, so uh, while we continue our discussion, I would request the participants to start putting across your questions in the Q&A option. Uh, we will be soon taking them up. And also in the meantime, Mr. Fatani, uh, you just spoke to us about uh, various tools, right? Uh, like performance management tool. While we are being flexible with the work and the environment, the tools also play a very important role. All of us agree with this. So could you please share uh, uh, your experience or any tools that you have come across, tools or even technologies uh, that are enabling the success of this hybrid workplace today? Okay, there are a different tool uh, has been explored over uh, the last two years, but we can classify them as, uh, there is office capacity tools. There is the normal uh, uh, tools where we can use uh, the, the classical part of uh, the system available, Microsoft, Zooms, or whatever. There is a cloud productivity tools or design for this. I'm not going to share something, not to advertise, yani, uh, to avoid this. But there is also, uh, again, we talked about the communication. Uh, communication platforms is very important to capitalize. It's very important to work closely and widely with your technology partner. So we can have and assess and come up with the right tools for us. What is in it for us? What will be working with us more effectively? So yani we can use the classical tools uh, of communication, of engagement, Zoom, uh, Microsoft, whatever, you know, WhatsApp, whatever there is uh, tools to be used for a conference or for things, uh, it, it's very important to track it, okay? Even if we had to use a simple one. So working with uh, your technology partner uh, in developing the right uh, features for us, that's something very important. For us as approach, we always capitalize uh, on Simplicity is the mother of beauty. You know, we always looking for a super friendly system so people can engage easily. You know, that's something very important to think of. People will find it more perceptive. We are not looking for a complex system that uh, make people away so they resist the change. No, we would like to encourage people to go 
on that and accepting and get them onboarded. So having uh, the right simple technology system, it's crucial here, I think. Sure, sure, Mr. Fatani. Uh, also, uh, as you mentioned, the various tools and technologies driving the hybrid workforce, uh, you um, uh, brought up this uh, beautiful point that make sure you go for a user-friendly one. It need not be a complicated one, right? So are there any other factors that we need to consider while selecting these tools and technologies? I think it's very important to think, as I said, uh, what is suitable for company, but uh, simplicity we said about it, ensure uh, the right feedback system, either for uh, the system provider or for the employee, ensure a communication link, you know, how people they can use, uh, demonstration in a fully, that's something very important. Considering the part of the tracking tool, also we don't want to look for a police, you know, we are dealing with a mature, uh, workforce and on that, but ensure that uh, uh, staffing uh, uh, working remotely is very important. Uh, monitoring also here in performance results so people they can have the end of the day. You are talking about a different eight to five employee where people punching cards you know, a fingerprint or whatever uh, attendance tools. We're talking about a flexible, we are talking about something different. So once we build the right culture or the right features of defined uh, hybrid uh, offices or a place or a workplace, I think it's very important to make the technology customized on this based on the feature. As I said, security, is major uh, part on this. Visibility is a major part with the right tracking tools. You don't want to people to get deviate, you know, on delivering tasks or working with this. However, whenever we raise the raise of maturity, but still people, some people, people are different, you know. Some people need to work under uh, supervision. Okay, so you cannot leave it. In, so ensuring this kind of uh, visibility, tracking tools, uh, follow-up tasks, project-oriented uh, checklist task is very important point to consider. But you need, again, simple, agile. That's something very important to have uh, this dyna dynamic workplace. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Fatani. Uh, also, Mr. Fatani, uh, recently you may have heard there's a lot of this buzz going on about metaverse, right? Uh, so what do you think will be its impact on the future workforce? I think uh, there will be a great impact for the metaverse uh, coming in, not only in the workplace. Actually, it could fundamentally change uh, not only how human can interact with technology, how they interact with each other, you know. Again, we are coming to a new pact that is coming to make the workplace or this hybrid uh, models more effective with the advanced use of technology, the beauty part of the technology. So will be dramatically change our life not only in the workplace of the things, but I think it will have affect uh, workplace into more dynamic, more uh, agile, more attractive, more into attract talent to work. If we are a company adapting such technologies, wow, that's really a wow effect it could be. I remember I was uh, reviewing a survey about the metaverse in a workplace. So I can imagine that 45% of employee, how they perceive the metaverse is uh, increasing work flexibility. This is why they will see it with a major impact. Also more into more calibrations more uh, life interacting. That's something very important. You're talking about uh, 
metaverse, uh, VR, virtual reality. The rule of the game is going to be changed, which will be more impacting uh, employee and employer, you know. But if you think from a different yeah, any, uh, perspective, I think both will find in the metaverse something uh, valuable that we they can capitalize on gain more productive uh, productivity in workplace more increased communication etc sure mr fatani i think all of us are very curious about uh, this upcoming metaverse so i think uh, just the time can answer <laughs> how it goes on. So thank you so much for uh, enlightening us with your uh, take on this. Uh, my last question to you, Mr. Fatani, um, before we head towards the audience questions. Uh, so if you would like to conclude, what do you think makes an effective hybrid workforce? Uh, the fact is uh, we can tell ourselves that is possible, hybrid, uh, is possible it's highly effective if we approach it uh, and invest uh, in the right way to make it happen you know because if we do it in the right way there will be a more uh, productivity more engaged but if we do it in the halfway or not the right investment not the right uh, as we said uh, cultural setup it will have a more uh, negative impact on the company culture, company values, and other things, you know. So you, either you do it right or don't do it. So we need to invest in uh, our infrastructure, our uh, cultural mindset to make the best out of this. So it's achievable. It can be turning our office to more agile, more... Uh, productive, more innovative, if we have having the right approach and the right strategy. Our thinking is goes beyond that. It should be working remotely. The common uh, mindset is everybody has a laptop so he can work from home. No, we need more effective tools, use of tools, more calibration, more distribution of tax, um, of tasks, you know, through this. So if we are aiming for the right transformation in this, we need to have to build the right setup, invest in the right setup, develop the right culture, the right people, the right leaders. We will have a fantastic result in achieving a very effective and efficient uh, workplace. Sure. Thank you so much, Mr. Fatani. Uh, so I think it's now time for us to move towards audience questions. Uh, so we have got a couple of questions from our participants today. Uh, I think one of them you have partially answered, but I would still like to take up this question and uh, you can add if you would like to anything here. So the question is, uh, what are some of the tips for sustaining culture in a hybrid workplace? What are the tips? What are some of the tips for sustaining culture in a hybrid workplace? Uh, for sustaining culture, I think uh, key tips here is you open dialogue with uh, your peoples, make the right onboarding, make the right orientations. As we said, getting captain on board is something very important for any successful idea, project, modules, whatever uh, we take in life. So a key tip is uh, orientation with the right uh, onboarding. Uh, also the right assessment for uh, our current technology infrastructure or setup. Okay, so we need to think of what we have and what is missing and build on that, you know. Also, people has to believe, and I think this is very, very important. People has to believe in that uh, productivity. It doesn't have a control either where you work, you know. 
The treasure is in your mindset. I remember Paulo Coelho, the alchemist novel. So the treasure is in our mindset. So the more productive I could be productive while I'm working from home or work, working from uh, everywhere, rather than more productive uh, person who, who is typical mindset, nine to five employees would, you know. So a key tips is see what is suitable, assessing what is more uh, no force for the people. There are still people uh, enjoy the classical part. I enjoy coming to the office. This is more ensure what is the right fit that uh, people with more productivity will gain to get the best out of them. So I think this is a key tips I would always emphasize on to wear the right suit, you know. Yeah, so I think here, uh, right is the key for everything, uh, Mr. Fatani. So thank you so much for answering the question. And uh, dear attendee, I hope uh, this answers your question. Uh, so I'll go to the next one. Uh, also, Mr. Fatani, I think you have already answered this partially, but I'll take it up anyways. Uh, so the question is, can you suggest some of the strategies that HR leaders can adopt uh, to track the performance management of employees in a hybrid workplace? Uh, again, we need always to capitalize on our performance management system. Okay. Either we have uh, people are working in one place or in this uh, hybrid uh, modules. So very important to ensure the system we have that uh, a fact-based system, all right? Uh, people ensuring uh, not only a performance, performance in their development also, in individual development performance. Uh, ensure having the system that ensure 70, 20, 10 of the learning, 70 we learn in the job. So ensuring uh, the system that employee learn learning on their job the much that's something very important to obtain or to have or to capitalize on uh, simplicity again will go this more concise and clear uh, performance uh, tips and system ensure that going online with your scorecard as a business to achieve the company strategy and the company goals and objective, etc. With the right uh, tracking, you know, a practical tracking under a KPIs, you know, key performance indicator in the place with the more clarity and more uh, insight, you know, to think of. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Oman. Uh, so I don't see any more questions coming up. So I think it's now time for us to end this session. Uh, but before that, um, I would like to uh, thank everyone uh, for contributing towards this question and also uh, participants if there are any questions pending from your end do not worry uh, you can always write back to us on the mail id that you can see on the screen and also on this note i would like to thank mr man fatani for this session you have certainly given us a lot of great insights on the importance of technology in a hybrid workforce uh, thanks a lot. And also, uh, uh, Ms. Zoya Ahmadi, thanks for your uh, contribution here. And also, dear attendees, uh, uh, thanks to you as well for joining us and for making this session successful. Once again, if you have any more questions related to this session or to uh, related to our topic, you can always write back to us on the mail ID that you can see on the screen. That is yase.arafat at the rate of greatip.com and we will definitely get back to you with the response all right so on this note i'm going to end this session now uh, we'll see you in the next session with another interesting topic of discussion till then uh, enjoy have a, a great time and stay safe thank you thank you rashmi and thank you everyone it was a pleasure being here with you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.